Hello everyone, welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about functions in Dart. Functions are the block of code that is used to perform a particular task. Let me share my screen and let's learn more about functions. Here you can see functions are the block of code that perform a specific task. They are created when some statements are repeatedly occurring in the program. I will show you a practical demo very, very soon. The functions helps reusability of the code in the program. This is also the great thing about function. And here you can see the main objective of the function is don't repeat yourself. If you repeat something in programming, then it makes your life very, very hard. Okay. Here you can see advantage of function. It avoid code repetition and another advantage is easy to divide the complex program into smaller parts this is also uh, the advantage of function and helps to write a clean code okay here is the syntax for function first of all you need to write a return type i will uh, show uh, you a practical demo okay and you need to write a function name then you can write parameters here you uh, also you can't if you don't write parameter that will be okay this is optional and this curly bracket means functions body and here you can see return type it tells you the function output type it can be void string integer double etc if the function does not return anything you can use void as return type okay you need to understand this thing if the function does not return anything, then you need to use void there. I will also uh, show you demo. Okay, another one is function name. This is function name. You can name function by almost any name. You can use any name, but you can't use keyword. Okay, that is reserve word. For example, you can't use integer as function name. You cannot use if is function name always follow the lower camel case naming convention like print name okay uh, first word you can you need to write in small and second word uh, you can write that in capital case okay and another one is parameter parameter are the input to a function which you can write inside the bracket parenthesis uh, always follow the lower camel case later for naming convention for your function parameter okay for function name uh, also lower ca camel case uh, you need to follow that and for parameter you need to follow this lower camel case naming convention okay uh, now let's see the live example demo example function that print your name okay i will print my name and obviously uh, you need to do the program that will print your name Okay, for that I am opening VS Code. Here you can see function work dot dot. Let me write a main method. Okay, okay. Now here is the point. To create a function, you need to go outside of main function. Okay, this is also a function. Just go outside of the main function and write void. Void means it does not return anything. And just write function name. Function name. Function name. I am writing print name okay and you need to write parenthesis this is similar to this main function okay this is our main function this is the our custom function okay here I am printing my name okay print this so Raj Paudel okay okay let me write a semicolon here and let me print name okay Okay, this is called function calling. I am calling the function and this is called function body. Okay. Okay. Let me run the program. Okay. Dart function work dot dart. Okay. Here you can see Vishwaraj Paudel got printed. If I don't write anything in main, if I don't call the function, then it will do nothing. Okay. You need to call the function. To print this to execute this block okay you need to call the function okay in this way you can create a simple function in that programming language okay uh, I hope till now you created a function that will print your name okay let's move forward 
and here is another example function that finds sum of two numbers okay okay let me create a function i will create a new file add work dot that okay let me first create a function okay okay let me write void and let me write add an integer n1 integer n2 they are called fun function parameter okay integer n1 and integer n2 are function parameter okay let me find sum integer sum is equal to n1 plus n2 and at the end i am printing the sum is dollar sum okay if i run this program add work dot dot okay if i run this program okay okay it says the binary program does not contain main we need to write a main method also void main okay and then we need to call the function our function is add and i am writing 10 here and i am writing 20 here okay let me run the program okay the sum is 30 here you can see the sum is 30 in this way you can uh, use function here you can see uh, integer n1 and n2 are parameter okay let me write a comment also here n1 and n2 are parameter and here 10 and 20 are arguments in technically in technical term it is called parameter and uh, it is called arguments here 10 and 20 are arguments okay okay uh, here you can see first of all our program start from main function and uh, we are calling a with two values one is 10 and another one is 20 and this a calls this a function and pass 10 to this n1 and pass 20 to this n2 and this will uh, find a sum that is 10 plus 20 30 then it will print the sum is 30 okay let me run the program here you can see the sum is 30 in this way you can use function in that let's move forward here you can see another example function that find simple interest okay let's do this program also i will create a new file si work dot that simple interest work dot that first of all let me create a function that find a simple interest okay let me create a function find si okay where find si and i need to pass three things one is principal double principal double rate double time okay and the formula for simple interest is principal into time into rate divided by 100 okay and let us also print the simple interest is dollar simple interest okay now let's create our main method and we need to write curly bracket here and let's say we have double principal you can write anything okay here you can see uh, you can write principal also here just i'm writing principal double principal is equal to fifty thousand and double rate is equal to five percent and double time is equal to three years okay and let me calculate simple interest that is uh, calling the function okay you can directly call the function find si and you need to pass principal you need to pass uh, time okay you need to add the second step you need to pass the rate okay here you need to pass the rate and the third uh, parameter you need to pass 
time okay if you write time here then uh, for this program it will not give the wrong result but you need to pa pass accordingly okay systematically first you need to pass principle then you need to pass rate then you need to pass uh, time okay okay let's run the program dot si org dot dot okay here you can see the simple interest is 7500 in this way you can create a function and you can also use function multiple times for example if i write here find si and if i write uh, principal is 2000 and if i write rate is 3 percent and time is five years then what will be the answer if i run this program then you can see the simple interest is 7500 the answer for second simple interest is 300 this means code reuse we are reusing the same code to find the simple interest okay thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned a lot about function if you have any question regarding function then comment down below i will see you in the next section thank you